Are you tired of trying to print out a recipe or an article from the web and realizing that you've just added way more paper to the landfill? This week's quick video will show you how to get rid of unnecessary images, sharing buttons, widgets, and ads so you can print easily from Safari on your iPhone or iPad, keeping the text and photos you want to retain while getting rid of all the clutter. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. To try this feature out, you'll need an iPhone or iPad with an internet connection and an AirPrint compatible printer. HP, Canon, Epson, Brother, and Lexmark are some of the top names. I'll place a link in the description for some compatible printers. Let's start with an article or a web page that you want to print. So I'm going to tap into Safari and I have two web pages available. I have a day out with Thomas and I have uh, a recipe. So let me go back to the first web page and if you scroll through this page, you'll see that there are a lot of things that I might not want to print out if I tap on the print, you know, button. So right now, if I choose the share option and I select print, you'll see that there's five uh, web pages that I would print out. And they, it has a lot of extraneous information that I really don't need. I really just want a clean uh, web page to print. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on cancel. And now I'm going to come up into this URL bar and tap on the double A's. And I'm going to select show reader. And when I do, you'll see that a clean page comes out. Uh, and this is what I would be able to print. So if I scroll down, you'll see that there's one picture at the bottom of the page. Now, if I tap on the double A again, you'll have some options here. So if you really just want to read this article and not print it, you can go ahead and you can change the font to whatever you'd like. Let me tap back. You can increase the size of the font by tapping on the big A. I'll just bring it back down again. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the double font again. You can, or sorry, the double A. You can also change the color of the background that you're reading if it would make it easier for you to read. So you could make it all dark. You could change it to like grayscale. You could change it to the background color would be like a cream colored or you can go back to the white. So whatever makes this web page easier for you to read. If I select website settings, for this particular uh, website, as you can see, it says settings for Straussburg Railroad, I can choose to request the desktop site, and I have that set up in uh, my settings. I always want to see the desktop site instead of the mobile site. You also have uh, use reader automatically. I leave that turned off and choose it uh, web page to web page. And then you have options to turn on your camera, microphone, and location. And, and I have those all set to ask. I'm going to go ahead and tap on done. I'm going to come back and select that share icon in the upper right corner. I'm going to scroll down to print. I'm going to select print. And now you'll see that I have three web pages to print, and that picture that was on the sec or the third web page, they actually were able to move it into the second web page. So now I can uncheck that page, and now I'm only printing two pages. Now let me show you some of the printer options that you have. Here is where. The, the printer should be listed. If it's not, tap in this area, and if you have an AirPrint enabled printer, you should see it listed there. Go ahead and tap on it, and now it'll appear under printer. 
You can leave it as the default settings if you want, or you can tap in there and make some changes. I'm going to tap, tap back on printer options. I can choose the number of copies I want, the, pa the page range. So if there's something I don't want to print, I can go ahead and uncheck it. You can choose to print in black and white only if you want. If you have a duplex printer, which means it'll print on the front and the back, you can select double-sided and that even wastes less paper. Here you have the paper size and the orientation. If I tap into media quality, here I can choose to select a draft print so I don't waste so much ink, normal print or the best print, which, which will use the most uh, ink if you're using best print. And then here, if I select feed from, I can leave it as auto select and my printer will select what tray to print from. Or you can do the main tray or I have a photo tray as well. I'm going to tap back on media and quality and come back to that. And then you can select media type. And this would be the type of paper that you would, you know, that you're using to print on. And I usually just leave mine selected to auto select. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on back. And now I've made all the corrections that I need to make. I would just go ahead and tap on print and then those two pages would be printed for me. Let's take a look at the recipe that I have over here. So let me open that. If you come into a web page and it already looks cleaned up, check to make sure that you don't have reader view turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and hide reader for right now so that you can see this web page. And there's, you know, a lot of extraneous things on here, but Apple does a pretty good job of removing a lot of that. So if I come into here now, the share icon and go to print, you'll see that Apple kind of has it so that it only is going to print two pages and it tries to get rid of as much of the extraneous stuff as it can. I'm going to tap on cancel. I'm going to come back into the double A and select show reader. And you'll see that, you know, we get a much cleaner version of the recipe. I'll tap on the share icon. I'll come down to print. And you'll see that even though it's still printing two pages, it really cleaned up that recipe. And now I would just go ahead and tap on print. That's how easy it is to print without ads in Safari. Those recipes will look clean and readable and no more wasting paper. I'm going to be doing live Q and A's for my subscribers. I don't want you to miss anything, so head on over to my website and sign up for my newsletter so that you receive a notification of when I'll be going live. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.